Hello fellow YouTubers, it's yours truly here, Mariana, Dark and Glamour, bringing you a fun, nice, wonderfully perfect dark blue, navy blue, uh, smoky eye with some sparkle. And it's all inspired by the Disneyland 60th anniversary. I hold a close love for Disneyland, even though I do work here at Disney World Florida. But Disneyland, just the times I've been have fell in love with the place. You feel more Walt's presence there because of course it's the original park and it's just it's near and dear to me and I love it and I would live there if I could but my home is here in Florida. So as you can see here's a 60th anniversary Minnie Mouse ears that I got a hold of um, recently and <laughs> I've been wanting to get these for the longest when they first came out but I just happened that I got them now. Boom. Oh, they're so cute. Look how cute they are. I do have a big head, but it will do. But this is my inspired look. So you got your dark blue smoke eye here with some glitter and some false lashes and a nice simple glossy pink lip. So if you want to see how this look is created, stay tuned and keep on watching this video. Blue pencil liner. I'm using the one from Wet n Wild, it's a cold crayon, and it's a, it's a blue, it's like a royal blue color, and I use that as a, another base for my eyeshadow, so I created like a cat line, liner right here, like so, make sure it goes well, and I brought it and I applied it all over my lid. Just a bit. I don't need a lot, but I just wanted to get a, a blue base. So, and then I went ahead and started with a brown that I'm using from my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. Can't get enough of my palette. I love it so much. Yes. Some of Zone, and I'm going to apply it right above where I applied the blue liner, and just. Smoke it out. Because when you do a smoke out, you just need some sort of brown, not brown preferably, just to have as that extra factor to bring out the color and make it an actual smoky eye, right? So go ahead and apply it right where you see I'm applying it. A flat eyeshadow brush, like so. Boom, get in camera. There we go. And I'm using Blonde from the same Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. And I'm applying it to my brow bone for a highlight. Going ahead and putting it there and blending the zone and that one together. Now that I have that put there. And I'm going to go ahead with my LA Colors palette. And it's called Shady Lady LA Colors. And I am using this navy blue color right here, part of the nails. <laughs> and I'm using that in the inner corner and outer corner of the eye. So, where'd you go? So I'm going to grab a brush that I just had in my hand. There we go. I'm going to grab some of that color and apply it to this part, this corner. What is wrong with me in this stuff, guys? Sorry if it's off. Apply it right there and get some more of it and then apply it here in the inner corner like so. Yes, you will have fallout like any other dark color, but this is how it's going to go. My palette again, I'm going to go with the color Danger. It's this blue right here. That color right there. And that's going to go right smack in the middle. Really pretty color. Uh, fix that way. There we go. And put it right there in the center. Beautiful. And I'm also applying it right under the waterline. I 
And then take a fluffy blending brush and taking the one from Wet n Wild, the new vegan pink tipped white uh, makeup brushes. And I'm going ahead and blending right between where the brown was applied and where the navy blue was applied. And mix those, we'll blend those together and give that smokiness effect. And then, oh, pardon me, cause the trees. Then I use my e.l.f. glitter primer. I was going to grab a dab of it and I'm going to apply it right here in the center. I leave a fingerprint right there. That's enough you want, that's the amount I want on my lid. Like that. Boom. And a little bit right here. So I'm going to just grab some of that glitter that I'm about to apply on my lid. And I'm using from Fantasy Makers Confetti. Grabbing a dab of it. And put that fingerprint again on top. The girl can't have enough sparkle. It falls mm -hmm. down right under your your eye. And then from Elf Cosmetics, this uh, glitter mascara in silver. And I just applied it right here in the corner to add more sparkle. And a little bit also on top, just add some more sparkle. Like I said, you can't have enough sparkle. And then I went crazy and applied to little parts of my lashes. Not too much because to this eye, it burned. It fell somehow into my eyelids and I was like crying a waterfall. I had to touch up here and you just don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, and then I went with some mascara just to get some lift to these beauties right here of lashes that I have. They really aren't that amazing, but they're there and I have them. Yay! <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and apply some Broadway eyelashes, false lashes in Starlet. I'm going to grab some lash glue. Actually, I'm going to roll them so they can fit the curvature of my lid. And then apply the glue, the lash glue. To the lash. And let that get tacky, and I'll be right back. Now that I've completed the eyes, like so, I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm using from Wet n Wild, it's 907 Seeds, a pinky tone lipstick, like so. Very nice pink tone, and I'm going to apply Max lip gloss and frozen dreams part of the holiday collection they had so I'm going to apply this Like so, and that's a nice shine to it. Makes a great combination. And then for a light contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kate Moss Core Glow Trio here. I'm going to start off with the middle and give myself a nice soft contour right in the cheek area, right above the corner, one third of the forehead, some right here, and just blend it, make sure it's not too harsh like I just did it right now, oopsie, still working on my contour thing. Contour, contour. And then bring it up here with it again. And then here, a little bit down here. To make that face a little slimmer, just a bit. 
And then I'm gonna take another brush and apply some of the Coral Glow Blush to the cheeks. Just a little color. Just a bit. Like so. And then some highlights. Which I'll just do it with my finger because my finger's clean, which is the color right here on top. And a little, just a little here. Here in the nose. And here in the upper cheek area of my nails. Cupid's well a little bit. And ta da, ladies and gentlemen. This is my finished look. But I'm forgetting one thing. Where are my ears? Can't forget these beauties. They're so adorable. What do you guys think? They're so cute. Stick it around on my ear. I'm going to say I would wear this makeup to the park. But I did want to do an inspired look to go with the hat with the blue and silver. Blue and silver sparkly celebration of happy 60th. Disneyland. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to the group. <laughs> don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram under Dark and Glamour. Until next time. And if you guys want to hear anything or ask any questions about my life as a cast member, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.